Yeah, welcome to our sex education series on our counseling section. The last episode we talked about crushing a romantic relationship. Today we are going to talk on it's um, crushing harmful or harmless. What do you think? What's your view? Give us a comment below the comment box. Tell us what you think. Tell us your opinion, whether it is harmful or it's harmless. If you still want to know what our opinion is at this end, stay tuned. Watch our episode to the end and get our view on whether crushing is harmful or harmless. Crushing is totally harmful. Why did I say so? I have three major reasons why I said it is totally harmful. One, cultivating a romantic expectation for an impossible relationship can literally make you sick. Unrequited love is cited by doctors as cause of depression, anxiety, general distress, sleeplessness or lethargy, including chest pain or breathlessness. When I mean lethargy, I mean somebody that feels so very tired, lack of energy or doesn't even have the willingness to do anything. All is because of what? Crushing. Why did this come up? It's because you having feelings for someone that doesn't know you even existed. No matter how hard you try to get the attention of this particular person, all fails. So this really brings you down to those things I mentioned, depression, anxiety, and the rest of them, which you will not want to go into. What about the second one? It also wreaks havoc to you. How? When you allow fantasy to dominate your mind or your life, you now see yourself moving away from your family and friends. This is also dangerous to you emotionally because you will not want to talk to them, you don't want to discuss anything with them because you are feeling depressed, like I said earlier on. Then what about the humiliation aspects? You become very, very humiliated when you now discover that, ah, this thing that I'm doing before doesn't work it. When you realize that, when you sit back and think, probably the way you've been stalking this person, creating scenes here and there, you now feel humiliated. These three reasons, that's why I said, they are very, very harmful. When you are young, desires incidental to youth often rule your thoughts and actions. Like we said earlier, puberty unleashes new and potent feelings. It takes years or months for us to learn how to break free from such a desire. But can it really be controlled? Can we really get over it? Yes, we can. How to overcome a crush will be what we will discuss next. How to overcome a crush? One way is for you to face reality. When I mean face reality, if you're going to use your heart when it comes to crush, then definitely you'll be in the wrong because you've been blindfolded to many things that you are supposed to see in this particular person. But if you use your head, it will help you really know this person, whether that person is really right for you or not. So I think that we understand this better when we talk about love, lust and infatuation. That is very, very true. I was able to raise a question that will be to help you sit and really look if this is really what you want. One of them is, how much of a chance do you think you have with this person you are having these feelings for? Is this person married? If the person is married, then you know definitely that that's no go area. Like we said earlier, they might have a crush on celebrities. If this person you are having a crush on is a celebrity, you, you might never even see the person in your lifetime. So you see the problem. So that is what will really help you. So sit down and think and face reality and know exactly what you want. The second one 
is how to get him or her off your mind. How can we do this? Getting him or her off your mind requires you getting distracted. Distract yourself from it too. It implies that you just have to do other things that you are good at so that you can get your mind off that person, either he or she. You can pick a hobby or if you have a hobby already, go do your thing. If you're a good writer, write. Whatever you are good at, do. Then, if possible, you can travel out of the environment. You can equally mix with other persons to discuss things that you are passionate about. Just look for something to take your mind off this person. In that way, you will help yourself heal from inside and then stop crushing over this person. And stop idolizing that person in your mind. Stop thinking, fantasizing about this person. No, do other things to distract yourself. Do you know that sometimes they keep on feeding feeding this, themselves with this uh -huh. desire? You read books, you watch mm -hmm. movies, you try to picture the person in such roles. That will harm you more. So don't do such things. So that would also take us to the third one, analyzing your feelings. Seriously, these feelings will surely be there. Yeah, definitely. They will be there. But how can you handle it? Take a hard look at yourself. Look exactly these feelings that I'm having. Is it the genuine one or what they call immature love? If it is immature love, then I think you have to sit down and think. There's these three basic questions that will help you. One is, how well do you really know this person? Is your feeling based on what you are seeing physically that I'm having? What will I do with them? What you have to do is sit down and really think about the feelings. Like I said, if it is for real love or the immature love. Three questions will help you. How well do you really know this particular person you are having this feeling for? Is your feeling based on knowledge or just the image of this particular person? Do you really see the flaws of this person or you are blinded to them? Sit down, think about these questions. It will help you know if you should move on or let go. Seriously, getting over a crush is not really easy. It's not an easy journey. It's not an easy journey. But I bet you, if you are able to sit down, think about these three things we've discussed today, I think instead of 100%, I think you'll be able to get 99%. Let's keep one for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Bonnie. So you have seen what our view is from this end. Our view is crushing can be harmful because it has medical implications. It can lead to depression. Sometimes it can lead to suicide. Sometimes it leads to uh, a, self, a sort of low self-esteem and other things that you can think of. So because of all these odds that are involved, it's better to fight the crush, even if it comes. We are not ruling it out that it won't come. As adults, at one stage of our life or the other, we must have crushed over somebody. But your ability to get over this will help you. So this is where parents comes into play. Parents, if you see your child sad for a day, two days, sometimes going into weeks, find out why he or she is sad. It might be because of breakup or because of some other emotional difficulty as a result of romantic relationship. Try to help your teens out of this situation. Don't just frown at it and just leave them to die in silence. Give them a shoulder to cry on. Give them advice. Help them to pass through this life situation because it's not easy. We as adults have passed through these stages for some of us. So try as much as possible to help your things. Remember they are all developmental stages. So don't look at this as a taboo and just leave your child or your teens to fight alone. 
that would be all for our career our counseling corner today on our sex education series we want you to drop by next time to see other goodies we have for you on our sex education series remember i told you that our sex education series is going to take us deep into different series so be part of it thank you for being part of our community until next time on class online school and from us here well, thank college. you for coming by thank you for always coming to class online school and from us to our things and our viewers out there we say know the way you have crush on somebody and if you do don't worry the pain will surely go away and please don't give up your life so fight it and yes. you will definitely win